Hello Divine Man and Hello Divine Woman. Welcome to this safe space. I was I'm actually working on posting, you know, the videos of healing behind the scenes, right? So chapter 23, 24, 22, I'm doing what I gotta do to make sure they're uploaded. But I was just listening to chapter 24 and I was like, damn, I think I need to do a part two to that because we don't talk about, you know, am I, am I ready? Am I ready for, am I ready for what I've asked for, right? The desires in my heart. Am I really ready? So I just wanted to talk about it a little deeper. Um, in the first part, I talked about something that I had always wanted my whole life and it came to me on the silver platter and I was afraid. And for the time, the whole time up until that recording, which was what, back in August, I was afraid and it showed. And I'm the type of person when I want something and I'm afraid or I don't know what to do, I'm going to, you know, revert to being introspective, right? Trying to figure out why dots are not being connected, trying to figure out why things aren't happening the way they need to happen. And so with what I was talking about in part one, that's what I did. I was like, you know what? I need to take a step away and figure this out. Did it come out that way or did not? <laughs> and I'm laughing, but that actually is not funny. Um, so, <laughs> and and it's, I'm not, you know, this, this, this is all that I've known, right? My whole life. Whenever something has happened, you know, like when you, when you go to timeout, right? When you went get, when you get in trouble, you go to your room, figure, figure out what's what. It was, it's the same type of concept where it was things aren't going the way I think they should be going or things aren't going smoothly so I need to step away and figure this out not really putting myself in the position to put you know the other people involved into consideration and it's not like I if anybody knows me I'm a very considerate person. I'm very nice. You know, like, once you get past the, the bitch face, I'm actually really nice, okay? Let, let's, I'm doing this chapter right here, my not? <laughs> I got a whole series on this. I would like to think that I'm a nice person. However, when things start, the closer something is to me, the more I do not play, okay? If it's surface level, kaka kiki, we could do all that. But as something gets closer to me, to my heart, to my finances, to who I am as an individual, to my foundation, we're not playing those games. And so I take those things very seriously. And as I've said many times before, I am healing. I've been focused on healing for a couple of years. And what I'm noticing is with that healing, right your territory starts to expand certain things start you start to experience different things you start growing you start experiencing new things and what i was talking about in part one it was something I've, I've always wanted right it was my first time ever experiencing what i had actually wanted to that capacity and i was afraid i was intimidated i'm still afraid i'm still intimidated but the reason why I wanted to do this follow-up is because I noticed, or I'm noticing, right? Um, because you don't get this shit when it's happening. You get the shit afterwards. <laughs> what I have been realizing is because of that fear, because of, you know, the disappointments that I talked about, because of all of that, because of the power oh oh hold on breakthrough moment breakthrough moment because of the power that those experiences have had over me 
it was preventing me from kind of stepping into that person I wanted to be. So it had me asking, am I ready? And the question is, it's, it's not, am I ready? The question is, um, am I willing to do what I need to do to maintain it? Right? There's a lot of messages that I've been getting over the past year, every, the past month, actually, since I recorded that Am I Ready chapter or part one in August, right? Late August. There has been so many messages coming up. And whew, let me just catch my breath. I'm going to tell you, they have been coming from all shapes, forms, from the people involved. It They have been coming in deep. They have been coming in with a vengeance. And so I just want to share some of them, right? First things first, it, it is it is very easy to pray for something or someone, right? It's very easy to pray for something and it come in. If I'm completely honest, everything that I prayed for this year, I got it. And, and I'm, it's not a flex, no nothing, but everything that I asked for, I got it. Now, did I keep all of them? <laughs> huh. I think that laugh tells you enough. So it's about, you know, not only getting it, but maintaining it. Can I maintain this? Am I willing to adapt? Am I willing to put myself in a position to connect thoughts that have not been connected? Am I willing to, you know, transform as a human being to continue to grow? And you ask me that question on any day of the week, I must say yes. But <laughs> this is where communication comes in. And let me tell you, fear is a bitch, okay? <sighs> As you can see, some of these feelings, or all of these feelings are still raw. And so I'm, I'm still processing everything. But what comes with maintaining an answered prayer or you know something that that you wanted that comes to existence that comes into your hands is you, you have to make sure if you really if that's something that you really want to right you got to make sure that you're willing to do the work for it you got to make sure that you're willing to um put yourself in and not in harm's way but in the position to take risks i have not taking as many risks as I should have. And I look back on that. And there's so many feelings that come up. There's feelings of, yeah, well, you know, I stood my ground for what I believed in. But in the same breath, I'm, I'm literally pushing away the one thing that I have always wanted in my life. And so, right, that it's, there's an imbalance. And... It, it, it just got to the point where all I could do was just push away the one thing that I have always wanted in life. And I'm still, you know, trying to... I'm, I have no excuse for that, you know? I have no excuse. I have no words. Um, I am in awe of the experiences that I have had. And I mean... Am I ready? That's, I don't, I, without a doubt, I'm ready for the, the, what I want, but am I willing to, am I capable is the question. Am I capable of maintaining what I've asked for? There, there Google go. All right. Well, Google home was trying to get in on this conversation, but it, it's it's been a journey you know I'm realizing more and more you can go through certain experiences but do you have to you know I'm so used to being uncomfortable I'm so used to the not so good experiences that I've had in life and that has affected those that I care about the most, you know, things that I want to accomplish the most. And honestly, it's, it's a matter of 
how do we get from where we are to where we want to be? Taking risks, right? That That's the easy answer. And from the outside looking in, ain't, ain't no question about what needs to be done. What should be done to make certain things happen, to accomplish certain goals. It's just, how do you receive something that you want so bad? You don't, well, how do you, how do you get something that you've always desired and allow fear to let you push it away if you have waited so long to conquer something not, not conquer but to receive something to be blessed with something shouldn't you put your all into it right like common sense says listen this is something that i've always wanted it's here before me it is not a mirage i'm gonna give it all i got that's that's the outside looking in right you look at a movie you're watching the movie you're like dude this is what you asked for you got it boom it's done end of story in the movie but then it's like fucking shit bro it's like reality <laughs> reality has you like okay this is something that i've always wanted i got it but is it real is it a mirage is this fake am i being punked is this a joke oh this can't be real oh no look at that that's not how it should be oh no 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 this is supposed to be a house but there's there's a piece of cardboard on the driveway so this is not a house like what the fuck dude fear will make you do some crazy things even make you chase away the one thing you want the most and so as a follow-up to am i ready once you are at the point where you say you are ready don't hesitate to push yourself right you cannot move forward if you do not take risks regardless of what the outcome is going to be it is better to try and know that you tried than not try at all or to ignore the guidance that you've received because if you're ignoring the messages that you're getting, right? If you're being led to do certain things and you're not doing it, eventually it's going to get to the point where you're put in a position where before you had, you know, just the the option, right? Like this is a choice. Are you going to do this now or are you going to wait till later? The longer you wait to do things like that, the harder it's going to be. Right, the harder it's gonna be, the more pain you're gonna experience. And I hate to say this, but <laughs> I'm still going through that lesson, right? Like I I as much as I think about the desires of my heart, certain things I am not ready for like this is easier said than done like i cannot you know me saying this is it's, it's easy to say it. it's like oh you know like this is something i've always wanted so da -da 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 -da. i'm gonna try whereas in reality me speaking to you right now i'm like this is something that i've always wanted this is something that i want to communicate this is something that i want to show but i'm fucking afraid and i don't know how to do it or I know how to do it, but I don't know if I have the balls to do it. And so all these excuses are coming up on why this, why that. When it's like, listen, the core of my being wants me to do this, but I am afraid. And so I can say I'm not ready or I can give all the excuses in the world. But at the end of the day, I don't have it. I don't have what I'm asking for. 
I've pushed it away.